So today we pick up a load of concrete, bagged concrete. As you can see, bagged concrete, put two straps per bundle or per pallet, edge protection. Make sure everything's all done. Hopefully as straight as possible. We're gonna be tarping it here in a minute. So, but this is just basically all it is, just bagged bags of concrete just basic stuff you can see we got two straps per pallet edge protection we're going to tighten it all down i uh, don't want to tighten it too tight because it can bust the bags so that's basically what it is you know so we're going to do that we're going to get it all done and then uh get on the road we're going to be headed to uh from houston texas to muskogee oklahoma with this load so get ready to tarp it see what the drop is on it see which tarps we got to use may have to use the lumber tarps which are eight foot drop so check back in with you later welcome back right now i've got kyle up he's putting on some edge protection and while he's doing that the ones he's already got edge protected i'm gonna go ahead and tighten up in fact this first one right here i'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up Make sure my straps don't get down inside my winch. Use my winch bar. Stick in there and feel the tightness. See where I'm at. got it tight sorry about my hand in the way now that it's tight you can see whenever i go to squeeze it i can't touch it together so i know that was tight and i still gotta do the other side of course so but it's tight he's gonna keep doing edge protection and uh then we're gonna start tarping and i'll bring it back out when we get ready to tarp so while i'm sitting here waiting and uh, getting ready to tarp I'm going to go over the uh, working load limit and the aggregate working load limit. So, I know on these Fontaines, winches are 5,400 pounds, rated at 5,400 pound working load limit. Our straps are 5,400 pounds. The pockets are 5,400. So, you know, we're each one's rated at 5,400 pounds right now. So, we're actually using 18 18 straps so 18 at 54 is quite a bit i don't know the exact math right off hand but uh, we always try to shoot for 100 percent securement although dot requirement is 50 percent uh, company policy is to shoot for at least a hundred percent right now we are at uh we're at 100 percent so the aggregate of all of it added together would be well over 100 percent so we're good there uh, he just put the tarps up and then he's gonna tighten up that other side before we straighten out the tarps and then we'll be ready to go and then i'll bring you back on these tarps i've got three different types of tarps so these black tarps up here on top these are called the lumber tarps they have an eight foot drop and each one weighs about 100 to or about 140 to 160 sometimes even higher if they're wet or full of ice they'll weigh closer to 200 pounds so they're kind of a pain in the butt then these red ones here these are steel tarp sorry truck going by so the red tarps are our steel tarps and they have a four foot drop on these because they've got a flap on them so they got a four foot drop i've got two up top right there that are also red they have no flap but they're a three foot drop so there are different ones that we can use so i've got that's why i got to look at the, the distance between here top across the, the top and then down the other side and see what the distance is so that way i know which tarps i can use to make sure everything gets covered uh correctly because we got to protect this load from being wet because it is concrete uh quick creek so we've got to make sure that that's protected properly so 
when we get ready to, as you can see, he's already got one tarp up there sitting, ready to go. Uh, So I gave you a little time lapse, time lapse of us doing the tarps. So after the tarps are all said and done, all battened up, make sure it's good and tight. Make sure there's not too many gaps. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. The back's all, back's all buttoned up. Check everything again. It's starting to rain. Everything's all buttoned up. Front's all buttoned up. Everything's good. So, now with that being said, all that's done, we tighten up the, our other tarps, make sure they're good. We put away, you already done with this? Put away all of our tools, like the winch bar. Put that in with the rest of our equipment here. Button that down, close that up. Check the back, make sure everything's secure. Everything's secure there. Check, see if you got anything loose again. Make one final walk around. So we'll all walk all the way around it. Make sure everything's good and tight. Everything's snug. While we're back here, check everything. So. We got, all this is all snugged up. Oh, that's good, that's good. Looking good, starting to rain on us, so we got a tarp just in time. And everything looks good. So now, we can go in and get ready to do our paperwork and our loaded call and our depart call and then get on the road. So, that's all that. I got my gloves put up. So, now, crawl up in this here trip. Move stuff around that we used a while ago. <clears throat> so now we go to our Qualcomm. As you can see here, that's the Qualcomm. And we gotta go to the workflow first. 
we've got to go hours of service make sure we're on duty <laughs> that's not true you just got to go outside change the duty status we're gonna go on duty i'm gonna be training so we gotta change the remarks over here to training all right so now we're on duty so now we're gonna workflow grab our bills here we're gonna do loaded shipper 